back in a very rainy, wet Port Coburn right now. Uh, miserable. It's quite mild though, 16, 17 degrees. The ship over my shoulder is going to Savonia in Italy, which is about only 7,000 kilometers away. So very shortly, it'll be clearing Lock 8 and making its way through the Welland Canal and down to Lake Ontario, the Seaway, uh, St. Lawrence, now onto the Atlantic Ocean and into the Mediterranean. I'm not sure how long she's waiting for here in this uh, Lock 8, so I thought I'd just quickly drive over and get a shot here from the uh, the viewing platform they have down here at Lock 8 before she heads under the uh, the bridge there at Main Street. So uh, let's have a quick look. The Jessica B heading to Savona in Italy, uh, which is the northwest point of Italy near Genoa. Uh, actually, it's pretty close to the uh, the French border. Uh, Monaco is not too far away as well, so not too far uh, from that area. And from what I saw, it's going to take it until the 20th of May is when it's expected to get into Italy. So it's quite a long journey. It's like uh, three weeks nearly. Right, I've been down here at Lock 8 for over an hour waiting for the Jessica B to leave. Um, but I've been listening to the scanner. I've got a funny feeling they may uh, be on the ground here. Um, they were reporting, I heard the crew members saying the starboard, starboard draft was 8.5 and the port was 8.2. So uh, I don't know if they're sitting on the ground here. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but they're not moving anyway. Minutes in hand. If he can rectify within this 40, hey, he is behind you. If he can rectify within this uh, 40 minutes, we go ahead straight. Otherwise, we have to go out, tie up in berth 12, and rectify the draft and then move. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, they do have a draft problem on the uh, vessel right here, so they are stuck right now by the sounds of it. They've got until 4.20 to get out the lock. Uh, three workers here just uh, uh, by the number two cargo hold. I just heard something on the radio, they're working between two and three. I don't know exactly what they're doing, but <laughs> they seem to have an issue anyway. Uh, the rain stopped and the winds have just died down so i'm going to quickly go and try and get the drone up if i look at the uh the, the bow here and the depth reading like because i can't see from the other side of the wall so let's have a quick look so let's have a quick look at the uh, jessica b uh general cargo ship she arrived in port coburn earlier on today uh on her way down from sault Ste. marie and she's heading over to savona in italy uh, she's registered under the Marshall Islands and flies their flag and she has a length of 199.82 meters and a breadth of 23.7 meters and built in 2003. Uh, she's a mighty fine looking vessel as you can see uh, even on this weird cloudy miserable rainy and windy day. Now what we need to look now is at the uh, the very front of the ship the bow so we can get a look at those numbers and see how low she's sitting. Right, there's the bow. The top number on those lines is 13 meters. Um, from the bottom, working up to 13, you can see it is uh, 8.4, but originally was at 8.2. Uh, the water has started to uh, lower a little bit, or the ship's coming up a little bit more, uh, and so on. So, yeah, it's uh, a little bit of a problem going on here. Looks like they were just checking something once again. Uh, I put the drone up a minute ago and I can see the markings on the hull. I'm not quite sure exactly where it's supposed to be. Um, but I would presume it is sat a little low. <laughs> Alright, they just put the lines back onto the boat. Uh, release the lines, I should say. So it looks like they're going to try and come through the lock. Exit the lock. So we'll, uh, we'll find out probably in the next couple of minutes. Uh, see if they can get through here or not. But it looks like they've rectified the issue. Uh, so, here goes. Oh! 
She seemed to move like two feet and then she stopped again. I uh, definitely don't see it moving at the moment. Wait a moment, we are bringing the ship close by. Looks like there were an anchor missing. Right, she's just making her way along the canal right now and it looks like she's gonna point more up here because the Welland Seaway, St. Lawrence Seaway Canal uh, employees are here, they just opened the gate so I have a feeling she's gonna more up here where to try and fix the issue which seems to be uh, a ballast issue or something to do with the draft anyway so it looks like they're gonna be pulling up here very shortly so they just literally are really crawling along here usually by now boats are coming out here at a pretty good speed Did you tell them to come aft? They will have to take the half lines first. Oh, sorry, they have a walking radio. I forgot. Ishant, <coughs> Ishant and Aryan, you come back aft. You will take the half line first. We will make first aft, then you move forward. Just a copy. Now they just got to move it into position and tie it up, and then they'll do the fix, I hope. Gonna try and toss the line over, but he thinks it's too far. Here it goes. Uh, 
Okay, once again you are almost close by. So we are moving away now. Swing in the rear end. Done it. Hey. Congratulations, Ralph. Well done. <laughs> 23, number 23. Yep. Bring us turn on the engine now. Keep heaving on that line as best as you can so we can take the stern inside. To the starboard side, try and get it as close as they can. This boat seriously is definitely having problems out here with this boat. Wow, what an interesting uh, catch today. Uh, Jessica B, I thought I'd literally just come down here, get the video of Jessica B uh, coming out the lock and end up being down here for like three hours watching this thing. It's. Uh, I'll continue heaving on that stern line, we'll try to take the stern closer. Yeah. And what a lot of fun that was. Stern running hot to starboard. Uh, still trying to attach some more lines by the looks of it. Um, so I'm going to pull another one out. Right side 23 will go. Okay. Right side 23 will go. Yes. Okay. Now we'll continue. Bridge. It's forward. The bow is forward of the fence or off side of the fence? Off fencing. Forward of fencing. How much forward of the fence? 20 meters. For 20, 2 zero. Half bridge. Stand by. The forward has to come back. So maybe you will have to send the other st all the stand lines to bollard number 22. Okay, sir. Stand by. Meanwhile, keep heaving on this star. Okay, now. Signal. Come again. Come again. What a wild, bizarre few hours I've had down here watching this uh, unfold. Um, yeah, a ballast issue they've had, and uh, looks like they've still got the issue, so they managed to get out of the lock, and it looks like they're gonna just moor it up here and do some troubleshooting, I guess. Uh, don't take out this one. First, we put a spring in number 23, and then if we need, we will shift 20. Uh, if we put a spring in. Stern line in number 22 and then if required we will shift this 23 stern line. Next stern line will be on 22, right? 22. Okay, stern line is on 22. Uh, almost uh, we are parallel, we are parallel to that. So we are almost uh, abeam to fencing, inside now. We are inside around 1 or 2 meter. Okay, 1 or 2 meter inside the fence, right? increasing still we are going behind so it is increasing
अगेन अभी पांच साल लाइन ले रहा है स्प्रिंग तो नंबर 24 What you do is send one more spring and one more uh, stern line and then you let these guys be. They can go and put the forward line, then you have your own time, you can uh, heave up the line one by one. Alright, that's as much as we're going to get I think. I think they've virtually got it yeah, secured. Uh, They're going to move over to the uh, bow shortly and get that attached and it's done and they'll get it fixed. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video as unexpected. Um, bit of a learning curve for me too. We get to watch things uh, that break down and get pulled over to be fixed. So, there we have it. That should be okay. So, 31, you can put the, all three headlines. Uh, 31, you can put all three headlines. And 29 should be good enough for your spring. That is the Jessica B, which is going to get delayed now going to uh, Italy, so it's going to get there a little bit later than expected. Uh, it was due to be there on the 20th of May, uh, but I'm sure they're going to be held up here for a few hours getting this fixed. So anyway, please make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, I'll be back with more videos in the near future.